in Brevard County, cooler temps are driving manatees to warmer waters. Dozens of manatees have actually converged on one satellite beach canal off DeSoto Parkway, and they've been a source of interest all day long. Channel 9's Melanie Holt live there for us tonight. Mel, FWC tells you the manatees have been returning to that location. What a sight. FWC tells me there are conditions here that make this a warm water site, and that's why you see all of these manatees gathered here now. That's amazing. Amazing. Colder temperatures have brought dozens of manatees back to this canal off DeSoto Parkway in Satellite Beach. Florida Fish and Wildlife tells us there is a groundwater source here that acts similar to a spring and provides a warm water refuge for the manatees on colder days. They know that they come here when it gets cold, so I thought it'd be a neat thing for my sisters to see. And Kim Davidson and her sister, Chris Prickett, weren't the only ones hoping to get a closer look at this large group of manatees. I understand that they come this way to get warm, so we came this way to get warm too, though. David Boquette is from New York, but also has a home in Cocoa Beach. He and his wife look forward to the winter arrival of these manatees. FWC says when water temperatures drop to 68 degrees or below, manatees can suffer from cold stress. But so far this year, in Brevard at least, wildlife officials have only seen some very minor cold stress on some animals. Nothing that warranted intervention or rescue. This is the most I've ever seen in here. FWC also told us today that many manatees are dependent on man-made sources of warmth, like the outflow of power plants. We're live here in Satellite Beach. Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.